Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rosette. And today what I'm gonna be doing is showing you what I got thrift shopping versus showing you what I got at Brandy Melville with the goal of spending $50 at each place and seeing how much I could get and what I could get. I'm super excited to do this haul because I really wanna show you what I got, especially thrift shopping. Thrift shopping is one of those things where you go and you don't really know what you're gonna find. So I have some really cute pieces I wanna show you guys. I went to a thrift shop in my area. It's basically like a Goodwill. There's a humongous selection for women, men, children, did my shopping there. I was gonna honestly try to find dupes of each thing, but that was really hard. And the reason I chose Brandy was because I feel like there are a few stores that are out there, you know, PacSun, Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, and they have more of a thrift shop feel to them. A lot of the things that I see when I'm thrift shopping are very basic pieces that I'd find at Brandy anyway, because Brandy's all about that minimalistic look with just like tank tops and sweaters and zip ups, but not a lot of words, nothing too intricate. That's what I look for when I thrift shop. So I'm gonna share with you what I got in this video. All in all, when I went to go get the Brandy clothes, it probably took me like 20 minutes to pick stuff out. They just didn't have a huge selection, but then when I went to the thrift shop, I can spend hours there. So we ended up spending three hours there this morning. I'm very excited, like I said. So let's get right into this video. You ain't know you're dealing with a monster. Let her go cause she a prima donna. Sweating me like she be in a sauna. Trying to bend her down in Tijuana. Stat of money taller than the plaza. Got a lot of drip with no water. I'm on shotgun with no soda. She know them planners coming with the Prada. So I actually ended up going to PacSun because we didn't have a Brandy Melville around me. There were only a few in my area and I know they carry Brandy stuff. So the first item I got is this really cute blue sweatshirt that you can zip up and there's two zippers. It's cropped and I really love the baby blue on me. I didn't think I was going to like it so much but I'm really happy I picked this out. So this piece was 35. It has a little hood to it. So that is the first piece I picked out. The second piece I picked out was this really cute skirt. It's kind of like that tennis skirt vibe, but there's no pleating in the skirt. And you can really wear it with anything. I've been seeing this everywhere. What I do want to say about this is this is from John Gout, I believe. John Gout is a subsidiary of Brandy. So I feel like if you look at Brandy's Instagram, they'll tag John Gout in their post because that is a subsidiary of them. They do own it. And I think when I wear this skirt, I'll just wear it with sweatshirts and like a collar underneath because it's a little bit colder and maybe my puffer. That is for what I got at Brandy Mel though. This was $28 and I originally set out to spend $50 and I really did think I was going to spend $50. I picked this up and thought it was less. So when I went to the register, it ended up being about like $65. I have $66 with tax. I really did try to stick to 50. I'm gonna tell you that and be honest. But when I got to the cash register and it was super busy, I was like, I'm just gonna get it. I did end up spending more on the Brandy Melville for these two. Now let's switch over to thrift shopping. And as I said, I have some very cute pieces. The first thing I got, which I was honestly gonna order from Shein, is this really nice button down and it's a flannel it's from old navy it is so soft i think it's the softest flannel i have and it's an extra extra large but it doesn't look that large on me i got this in the men's section when you go thrift shopping if you don't already know this always check the men's section especially the outerwear section and the graphic tees so i got this in the outerwear section i'm gonna just pair it with jeans and a white tee when i wear it some of the other flannels can look a little bit worn which i saw this one held its color and its shape so i loved it and it's a little bit more of a durable material the other ones are kind of a bit flimsy so this was seven dollars the second piece i picked up is this super cute nike shirt it's a short sleeve which i've been really wanting and i can just wear it with joggers and some white trainers it is also an extra large and i found this in the men's section again check the men's section always before you whether i want to wear it as a sleeping shirt or just like wear it on a casual day i definitely will be using that and that was five dollars we just spent all of our time in the men's section low key it was where we found most of our things. I found this champion sweatshirt. It is medium in men's. And what I liked about this is that it was a little bit more cropped on me, cinched down at the waist a little bit more. So I went with this and it just has, you know, the Villanova logo. I don't go to Villanova, but I think it's really cute. I think that's like the one college I have shorts from. So I now have like a little matching set to wear and it is a navy blue color. That was $5. We are at $17 so far. The next thing I got are these pants from The Limited. They're a size six. They're corduroy, which I've been really wanting. I don't wanna always wear jeans. It's colder, so I want something soft. And it's this tan color. 
the fit is pretty good. The problem with the thrift shop right now is you can't try anything on, so it's kind of hard for pants to really get how it's gonna feel just by looking at it. One trick is just to put it around your neck, and if it fits you around your neck, it will fit you around your waist. That doesn't really tell you how the length is gonna be, and they were $6. The next thing I got was this vest, which is really popular right now. I'm gonna tell you, I went to the vest section of the men's. There were no cute vests. And I came back an hour later after shopping and there were new ones just because they were putting stuff out. I'm really happy I found this. This men's vest in a small. So cute and preppy. It's white. It has the two stripes across with the blue and the purple. I'm just gonna wear this with white t-shirt underneath. It is something I can wear up until spring. I saw them at Brandy, but I didn't like the colors that they had at Brandy. They had pink and something else. I wasn't too fond of the colors. That was $3.99, so basically four dollars and then the last thing i found in the men's section was this beautiful pullover from ralph lauren and it is this red color it's this darker red almost like purpley brown color it is a small i'm very excited to pair this with the skirt honestly it's a rougher material but i can just tuck it into my skirt or into my pants and call it a day. That was $6. My total comes to $33. I was gonna try to push it to $50. I went out with the expectation of spending $50 at each place. After going to the thrift shop and being there for a few hours, um, this is what I, you know, ended up with. And I didn't really wanna like force myself to spend $50. In total, I spent $66 at Brandy Melville for two pieces. And at the thrift shop, I spent $33 and I got six pieces. I guess what this just goes to show you is it's just to be open to trying new things, new places. If you don't go thrift shopping, really think about it because there are a lot of benefits, not just for your wallet, but for the environment. I got three times more at the thrift shop and I really do love these pieces. Some of them are more name brand like Ralph Lauren. I saw something today from Vera Wang. There is always stuff from like Banana Republic. It depends on what area you live in. If you're gonna buy something at Brandy, just have an open mind to maybe looking on Depop or looking somewhere else before you purchase it just because you actually never know what you're gonna find until you look. And it can be annoying to kind of shuffle through and look and you know go to the store and have to go through all the rack but you can find some amazing pieces sometimes that are super unique thank you guys so much for watching i had a lot of fun going out with my sister and picking out these pieces comment if you have any favorites that i got my social medias are linked below so you can always follow me keep up with what i'm doing if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful in any way definitely like and comment and if you want to see any of my content in the future definitely subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video Got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze through the trees. You like a getaway. It's you and me. You like the summertime love. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life in a pot for the weekend. Girl, I said you're the one. Summertime love, I work for your heart all night till the dawn. You stay with days with stars.